How blessed you are! The Beatitudes Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Poor in spirit signifies to be humble. Humility is the understanding that all your blessings originate from the love of God. Humility brings openness and inner peace, enabling one to do the will of God. Those who humble themselves are able to admit our fragile nature, to repent, and to permit the love of God to guide us to reformation. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. To mourn our sinful nature produces in us an intention to renew ourselves and to follow the way of God in righteousness. Comfort those who are suffering. Help others feel better about themselves after a loss. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. A person that is meek is one that manifests self-control. We are encouraged to be meek in the light of the Lord, and not oppose but be faithful to Him. Submission to the will of God can be difficult and tiresome, but it will bring peace and tranquility in this world and in the next. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Do what is fair for everyone. A perpetual appetite for virtue and justice will guide us to the attainment of satisfaction and reformation to righteousness. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. We forgive those who are unkind to us. Look for ways to show kindness to others. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. To be pure of heart means to be free of all selfish purposes and self-seeking motives. Jesus was the ultimate example of this, as he sacrificed his own life for the redemption and salvation of mankind. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. We try to bring God's peace to the world. We control our behavior so people can see Jesus in us. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. We are willing to stand up for God's laws even if we are teased or insulted. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you, and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Matthew 5, 3, 12, NKJV God bless you always. Together, let us spread the good news. If you like our content, support us by clicking the subscribe button and notification bell to get updates on our channel. You can also like, share, and comment below. Together, let us spread the good news. Upliftments 101